am at Fico Italy World, and we are about to take one seriously big bite out of Bologna. This is a temple for foodies, and we're going to taste this one bite at a time. I'm here with Barbara at Fico Italy World, and we are going to have a first-hand tour of this temple for foodies. Barbara. Hi guys, <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here. How big is this? This I is mean, incredible. It's 100,000 meters square. The concept yeah. is genius. I mean, I've never seen anything like this before. This is everything I could ever want I, in I, one I, building. I still have a good stop, <laughs> but just uh, talking about that. Fico Italy World really is a life cycle exactly. for the food. Exactly. From field to fork, to fork, you can see where it comes from, yes. how it's produced, the traditions and culture behind the entire process, yes. and then you can taste it. Exactly. Let's go outside. Let's go. At Fico Italy World, it is more about just tasting the food. It's about understanding where it comes from. So this truly is field the fork, starting with the cows. Here we have 200 different species. Wow. Because we want to explain that pig are not just, you know, pink. Right. But are also black They're black pigs black. as well. We have also the cinta senese with the beautiful color. So is the black pig uh, used to make something different than of the pink course, pig? Of course, okay. of course. The duroc uh, is important to do the prosciutto. The pink one is important to do like the mortadella. So you need to have like different, uh, like, type and species of pig for different type of, of food, of course. Look at this glistening, beautiful prosciutto. Yes. Incredible. From Calabria. This wow. is the pata negra italiano. This is what's so special about Fico Italy World, that you can literally move from one area to the next, tasting the different regions of Italy right here under one really big roof. I think everyone needs one of these at home. Yes. The smell is good, the, the flavor you. is strong. Cheers, salute. Cheers, oh my <laughs> god. Mm. Melts in your mouth. The perfect balance of sweet and salty, the buttery finish of the prosciutto. Yes. It's outstanding. Yes. Yes. Outstanding. I, I know, I know. Wow. I know. This looks like a place for me. Look, wow. look. This is the temple of Parmigiano Reggiano. Spectacular, Barbara. Yes, of course. Adios. This is Laura. I'm Mark. Nice to Laura. meet you. She's our specialist here. Wow. Prepare yourself. The smell. Oh. Oh my lord! It is I beautiful. Know. Look, this oh, it's beautiful. age. Beautiful. 2004. So, what makes Parmigiana? Parmigiano. Cosa metto? Cosa fa del parmigiano il parmigiano? Un prodotto unico, naturale, latte, sale, caglio, non ci sono conservanti. Parmigiano is a simple product. Milk, hanet, okay. rennet and uh, latte, sale, caglio. So, salt, salt milk, milk and, and rennet. Okay. Just this. Nothing else. So, so. it's the process and the ingredients that but, makes the parmigiano. But the point which is Depends on what the cow eats, ah. she say. The quality starts from the beginning. You are what you eat. Yes. Here you have the three types of Parmigiano Reggiano, and this is the 36 month. Okay. Wow. 72, right? 72. Yeah. Oh, it's harder. Yeah. Oh, look. The smell is totally different. It is a totally different smell. Yeah. And now, it's incredible. The king. The king. This is 96. Wow. You look changed the color. Yes. And, and you can see the amino acid. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look yes. the amino acid and touch is very, very dry. Yeah. It's very, very good. It's outstanding. No, it's not good. It's great. 
It is fantastic. This is my work, but this is my life and, and my world. Yes. Well, it's a great world to be a part of. This is actually one of the Michelin star restaurants oh, really? that we have here. So Michelin restaurant here at we Pico have, Italy World. Yes, we have three Michelin star restaurants. Really? We have a selection of more than 140 different kinds of cheese from all the countries of Italy. How cool is this? This is literally the progression of the cheese with the buffalo mozzarella, which is juicy and bursts in your mouth with flavor. And then it is the scamorza. Wow. And then it ends up with the cacio cavallo. Cacio cavallo, exactly. You cannot come to the cheese counter here at Fico Italy World and not try some cheese. And this blue cheese looks out of this world. From Bologna. Oh, wow. Mm. Creamy, salty, smooth. Grazie. So we have Josh with me today that is taking me around as my Italian tour guide and translator, but you don't need it. When you come to Fico Italy World, you just need a good appetite. What's so cool about coming to Fico Italy World is you don't just get to ride this awesome bike, but you get to stop and see how mortadella is made. This is the gold standard of meat, and it looks incredible. I am at Fabrica, and we are going to taste some mortadella. Grazie. This is what I live for, and at Fico Italy World, you can eat it, until the cows or pigs come home. Mmm, molto buono. Ah. We are in Emilia Romagna in Bologna and this is the heart of everything delicious. So I moved on from mortadella and now we're checking out Parma here for some Parma prosciutto. Now what I would do with this beautiful fat is I would save it and throw it in a frying pan with some eggs. Perfect breakfast. Grazie. This is why you come to Fico Italy World, because you can do this. It's really good. Molto buono. Really, really good. Now I'll admit, when I enjoy prosciutto at home, it's usually with a glass of red wine but I was served Prosecco, and it's a really interesting combination to have the salty and the sweet meat and to have the beautiful bubbles cut through all of that luxurious fat and flavor. Absolutely the perfect combination. One thing to do when you come to Fico Italy World is to take a little bit of everything, find a spot, a glass of wine, and experience the flavors of the regions of Italy. And with a glass of red wine, of course, San Giovese, we are in Bologna. This is how you do it. here in the heart of Fico Italy world with the genius behind this incredible experience, Tiziana. The post is really splendid, but it's splendid because it represents in a moment only total Italy. And it's splendid because you can in some way find and enjoy all the Italian products. This place is gorgeous. Incredible, Why incredible. Is gorgeous? Because just in one place, you can actually see, understand the process of the 
product, taste, smell, everything just in one place.